Hay que seguir la sangre, ¿no? Vale Por cierto, voy a ir un momento hasta aquí Hasta el final, ¿vale? Si me lo permitís Bueno, mirad Ya tenemos otra salida más La dejamos abierta Por para... si tenemos que salir Buah, gente, pues nos lo vamos a tener que, que ver Con esa Harry Tions Ostras, se ha ven... Oh. ¡Oh, Dios! Es ella Sí Oh, I'm sick So sick Doctor Help me, please. I'm in such pain. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you. <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Vale, a tomar por saco. Uy. Nobody ever helped me. I've been alone all my life. Jones. ¡Hostias! Vale, corre ¡Vamos! ¡Vamos! ¡Otra más! ¡Venga! ¡Métete otra más! Vale Vale Otra Vale Uf, uy, no tengo, no tengo, no tengo Ay, mierda Corre, corre, chútate, chútate Vamos Pero tío No me jodas pero joder, pero... Pero no me jodas, pero tío. Esto es increíble, tío. Ahora. Vamos. Pero si no me has dado Es el ácido Oye, tío, no, no puede ser nah, Estoy muerto Estoy mortísimo Ya está, gente, se me acabó aquí el tema. Pero, tío Pero si te has quedado, tío Nah, estoy, estoy muerto, estoy muerto ya Nah, estoy muerto Vamos Venga Uf Uh, pero, uy, amiga Vamos Sí Ya casi la tenemos, venga Vale, vale, aléjate, aléjate de ahí, aléjate, aléjate. Ahora. Where 
¡Eso! ¡Uf! ¡Uf! ¡Casi nos da! ¡Dios! ¡Venga! ¡Ahora! ¡Sí! ¡Sí! ¿Qué cojones? Uy. Uf. No, no. A ver, aléjate, aléjate, aléjate. ¿Qué son estas cosas? Vale Vale Buah, chicos Uy, 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 uy. Corre, corre. Daga. Hostias, corre. llegar a ella, venga, venga, recarga, recarga, recarga bien hostias, pedrín uff, cuidado, 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 cuidado con estas cosas ¿Vale? ¡Vamos! ¡Oh, no! Buah. 
Vamos, vamos. Uy. Corre, corre. Uf. Corre. Venga, que queda poco. Vamos. Sí. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. Boah. Ostras, qué fuerte. So it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget, what are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then. Young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. Lady Asbury. Tenemos que encontrarla. Tenemos que encontrar a Lady Asbury, tío. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now. My craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. 
When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Mm, un castillo, o sea que nos vamos fuera de Londres Vale, o sea que es ese, eso es donde está ahora Lady Asbury Vale Vamos, entiendo eso, que es donde está ahora ella Ostras, qué bien, tío Oye, pues está muy bien este cambio de aire, se fuera, se fuera bueno. de... This is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Vale. Pues he dicho que está muy bien esto. Capítulo 7, portador sano. Mm. A ver, el desastre ha sido exterminado y la reina roja duerme de nuevo. He cumplido con mi parte, pero ahora debo marcharme. Elizabeth, mi amor, la encontraré a usted y a su verdad. Suplico a todos los dioses olvidados a los santos caídos. Ruego ante los soles que se desvanecen en el posanto de estrellas. Todo porque esté conmigo. Pues nada, vamos allá. Y gente, lo dicho, lo que os decía, que nos viene bien un cambio de aire. Siempre acostumbrados a ese Londres, ¿no? Oscura, sin ningún rayo de sol, con niebla, ya sabéis. Es esa Londres oscura, de con miedo de todo. Está muy bien, está muy bien. Venga, vamos allá. Uy, no, no, otra vez este no Otra vez este bicho de los cojones, ¿qué querrá ahora? Beautiful morn, my child It looks like dawn is here at long last Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from when she came The nightmare is almost over I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. Sobre la reina, a ver. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. Y dale con que soy su, su campeón, coño. And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some... She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way, but you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. Yeah. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant ghostly queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Vale. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. I noticed that all the Icors were female, as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling world. Jolín, madre mía, tío, qué pesado eres. 
This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. Joder. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. What will become of the vampire? They will never stop searching for William Marshall, for he escaped their two great hunts. Remember that you too are now on their dark list. Pues en eso tiene razón. También estamos ahí. What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new primate. But I'm certain the current primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. Vale. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural? My God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the simplest ones. Madre de Dios, pero esto qué es, macho, cuánto diálogo. Tell me about William Marshall. He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Have I not already answered that question? His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had... Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. Yeah. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. Who are your sons? You are my son, as is William Marshall. Bye. This is madness. How many have you created? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you shall meet one night. A Shakespeare! <laughs> Hostia, tío. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming de No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Vale. Speak clearly then. And answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. 
I shall dream about you. ¡Hala, con Dios! Encuentra el modo de entrar al castillo. Joder, qué pesado, colega, qué pesado. Madre mía, tanta historia, tanto... Uf, es que, gente, os lo digo de verdad, es que es un juego que... Vale, parece ser que se puede ir por aquí o... Por, vale, por aquí, por esta puerta no se puede entrar. Eso, eso lo tengo claro. Y por aquí no se puede ir, vale, hay que ir por aquí. Dice que por eso hemos encontrado el castillo. Esa es la respuesta, o sea, lo, lo del motivo de la epidemia. Bueno, bueno. Va a ver, a ver si Lady Asbury puede, puede contestarnos. Lady Asbury, ¿estás por aquí? A ver, vamos a entrar por aquí, yo que sí. ¿Qué hay un cementerio? ¿Eh? ¿Qué pasa? Mary Inglewood, nacida White Egg, 1534, vale, la lápida antigua. Robin Inglewood. Eh, vale, ¿por dónde se entra? No sé, gente, ando un poco. Ando un poco desorientado. A lo mejor hay que ir por aquí, no lo sé. Uh, sí. Puede ser por aquí. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. Mm, tiene que andar por aquí. Sí, esto ya está un poco más carta antigua, Londres. Querida Lady Asbury, gracias por su última carta y la buena nueva. Estoy impaciente por su llegada a Londres. El jardín está precioso con este cielo de verano, aunque soy consciente de que prefiere evitar el calor y la luz del sol a causa de su delicada salud. Puede venir cuando quiera. Discutiremos su maravilloso, su maravillosa idea sobre la fundación de un orfanato para jovencitas, inspirado en la Mason Royal de San Luis, de Francia. Es una verdadera lástima que cerrase cuando los franceses decidieron... Cielo santo, me cuesta errores escribir esto, decapitar a su rey. Estoy convencida de que a mis amigos de la ciudad les entusiasmará eh, la idea de construir un, un lugar como el que describe, destinado a proporcionar una educación a jóvenes huérfanas con talento. Puede contar con mi ayuda y mi influencia para hacer que su proyecto sea un éxito. Un cordial saludo, Condesa Alexandre su merced. Vale, una carta antigua. Eh, buah, tenemos que hablar con Lady Asbury, ¿eh? ver, espero que todo vaya bien. No sé si esto es influye todo lo que he hecho con lo del final, no lo sé. No detecto su corazón. Hola. Por aquí no está. Le ideas Buri. Tiene que estar por aquí, tío. ¿Dónde está nuestra amada? Cariño. Retrato de Elizabeth Blackwood. Hmm. Otra carta. Copia de una carta. Castilla Asbury, 29 de septiembre. Estimado señor McAllister, como nueva propietaria legal de la finca Asbury, tengo, in eh, tengo intención de comenzar las reparaciones más urgentes y el mantenimiento de los muros y la cripta del castillo. Entre reparaciones más urgentes... No. Entre los pocos arquitectos a los que invité a enviarme propuestas, su respetuosa perspectiva en cuanto a renovaciones de edificios históricos y su conservación fue la que más me impresionó. Sería todo un honor reunirme con usted. Eh, según su conveniencia, eh, por, su, por supuesto, mi única petición es hablar directamente con usted, no con sus asistentes. Cualquier noche del próximo mes sería perfecta. Puede venir al castillo o puede hacerle una visita en su despacho como guste. Si prefiere venir al castillo, puedo enseñarle qué tipo de reparaciones y modificaciones tengo en mente para la cripta. Es posible que requiera una reconstrucción considerable. Un cordial saludo. Vale, o sea que está en una cripta, ¿no, Lady Asbury? Estará en una cripta. Parece ser. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. That's sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here. And recently. Mm. Madre mía, Lady, Lady Asbury. ¿qué? ¿Otra carta? Joder, gente, no, canso de leer cartas. Carta de la Unión reciente. Estimada Lady Asbury, gracias por sus cartas y sus fervientes discusión, discusiones sobre el folclore de los vampiros. Ahora está claro que compartimos la misma opinión sobre el enfoque moderno y científico en cuanto a la necesidad de sangre y la cura por la adicción. 
mmm, debo confesar, bla, bla, bla. Bueno, a ver, es que esto tampoco es muy... Fue magnífico leer sobre el puesto de director del hospital de Pembroke. Ah, el doctor Edward Swansea, mira. La carta de Swansea. Tras unos días de liberación me alegra comunicarle que acepto su oferta. Para mí será una ocasión para volver a la ajetreada vida londinense. Vale, o sea que es una... Aquí sabemos más o menos cómo acabó en Londres. Sabemos cómo acabó en Londres, entonces... Eh... De mano de... El pasadizo secreto. This painting looks suspicious. Esta pintura. ¿Qué pintura? No sé. A ver, chicos, vamos a ver un momento la... No sé. Este salón. Es que este salón me encanta, tío. Otra carta más. Contrato reciente, estimadas, le escribo esta carta para confirmarle que mis trabajadores acudirán a su castillo el próximo lunes. Vale, nada, a ver, no la voy a leer entera, gente, si, alguien, si lo queréis leer, son cosas que tampoco me... A ver, vamos a encontrar el pasadizo. Vamos a encontrar el pasadizo. Si sí, lo encontramos. Este castillo hoy está chulo, pero necesita una buena remodelación, eso está claro. Vale, vamos. Ahí está, la cripta. Vamos. ¿O no? ¿No? ¿No es por aquí? ¿Cómo que no es por aquí? Pues tiene que estar por aquí. Muy, muy raro esto. ¿Qué ideas, Buritío? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde se esconde tu, tu cripta? Pues gente, estamos aquí. Contrato antiguo, oh, otra más. Querida, al tener un día que estuvimos en contacto sobre el transporte de un féretro. Vale, no hay ninguna pista más. Es que son todo cartas, tía. Sin, sin, sin sentido. Al menos para mí. La puerta está abierta. Es lo de antes, es que es lo de antes. ¿Dó ¿Dónde está la cripta? Pues chicos, ni idea de dónde se esconde. Si os digo la verdad. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. Los símbolos. ¿Qué cojones? Los símbolos de una luna y una espada. ¿Pero dónde lo encuentro? A ver. Pues... Aquí, 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 aquí. ¿Qué son estos símbolos? Puedo sentir un mecanismo, pero no funciona. No jodas. Hay un mecanismo y no funciona. Aquí. Here's another switch. I should keep looking. One last switch and. Está, está toda, están todos aquí, están todos aquí. Vale, hay que buscar el, el aquí. Voilà. Se abrió. ¿Se abrió? Sí. Abajo. La idea es voy, ya voy, ya voy, ya voy. Vale, aquí está la... Aquí está la cripta. Toma antiguo. Un ángel ha venido a visitarme. Alabado el señor... Bueno, gente, esto no lo voy a leer. Boj. Boj. Y no... Boj. Esto es de... Madre de Dios. Es larguísimo esto. ¿Qué va, qué va? ¿Quién lo firma? Buf. No sé, chicos. ¿Lo queréis leer? Pero no creo que, que queráis. No, no, no creo que lo queráis. Es que es muy, es mucho esto. Y como comprenderéis, gente, este gameplay va a durar la de Dios, ¿vale? Así que perdonadme. Pero va a durar muchísimo. Muchísimo, sí que lo siento. Va a tener que ser así. Vale. Vamos. Drop your sword, father. 
You have nothing to be afraid of. Es su padre. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Caution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. Joder, macho, ahora otra vez, co como, ahora como el otro, aquí a preguntar. Where are we? This is the Ashbury estate. I inherited the title. Is this your retreat? It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my... Hmm. Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. But... Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes. To end it. Once and for all. Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? Charlotte is a strong, independent woman who's about to come into money. I took care of everything. Now it's time for her to shape her future. Muy bien. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. Yes. You did well, Jonathan. You truly saved the city. Yes, we did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together, Elizabeth. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this. Through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. What? Why are you hiding William Marshall here? How could I not take care of him? He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. He gave you the antidote? Yes. And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was. And still is. What do you do for him? I you feed him. You barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying, yet you give him your blood? After he saved me from the blood rage, I swore I would never kill to feed. He said the same. Vale. Hay un momentito que me comí una frase antes. What do you do? I visit him as often as possible. I paint the landscapes he will never see again. I feed him. 
Eso. Vale. Lo alimenta con la sangre, vale. Es que me lo había saltado sin querer. Vale. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. Joder, vaya, vaya conversación, tío. Who are you, really? How could I answer that? I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you, I am Elizabeth Ashbury. And that's all I wish to be. Vale. I need to know more. I want to know who you really are. Where you were born. Where you lived. I was born Elizabeth Samantha Mary Englewood. How did you meet William Marshall? He was an Econ for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death by making me his progeny. Why did he choose you? You should ask him that. Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. He is my father. He raised me. He taught me how to behave. Oof. What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. Oh. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse, forgetting the danger as you turned your back, like the newborn fool you were. Jolín, o sea, ya se ha enamorado de nosotros solo por haber salvado un día. <laughs> Hostia. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. No, no. Go on, Jonathan. Más preguntas, no, no. But be careful. No, no, no. Más preguntas, no, por favor, tío. <laughs> que estuvimos casi 10 minutos aquí. Buah, tío. Ahora tenemos que hacerle más preguntas yes. a él. So, William. My God, you really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak, for my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing 
Is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? Claro, es que me quiere morder, me quiere morder. Joder, tío, es que vaya rollo, chicos. Primero con la idea es brillo, ahora más preguntas aquí. I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were. I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood. King Richard and Bodicea. How did you find such? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to look. And did it work? Yes. The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing to see her smile again. I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now, Sir William. Then may I call you brother? Did you resist its poison? Even a scratch from a beast so evil could endanger you. You also defeated one in 1666. Who was it? She was a malicious witch who spread plague throughout the city with her army of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months when I finally found her. How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in St. Paul's Cathedral and burn the building down. I wanted to be sure she was destroyed. Woof. The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. I would like to ask you about vampires. What? Vampires? Considering your experience, please tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought. I have never seen such a creature. Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift, and implacable. Where did you encounter such creatures? The last time I saw one was in a Celtic temple near Salisbury. A terrible and godforsaken place full of ghosts. Madre mía. Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen. You met her, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, she too could hear the red song. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. Este sabe mucho. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. Madre de Dios. Tell me about Elizabeth. I do not wish to discuss it. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. How is it transmitted? After defeating the disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral, I return to my retreat, infected. This is where my sweet Elizabeth found me. For she heard my pain from across the sea. Where is this retreat? In London, under Temple Church, beneath my em. La tumba de él. Vale, puede ser el tema de las baldosas, esas que no hemos descubierto, esas baldosas que se iban. Ya sabéis dónde estaba el el, el árabe aquel, que era vampiro, en Wisen, que había una especie de baldosas a, abajo de una iglesia. 
Pero bueno. What happened then? The blood of hate had twisted me into a rage-filled man. I attacked my progeny and infected her too. Forgive me, Elizabeth. I failed you. You bit her again. Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. Elizabeth fled, and I fell to my knees, begging for forgiveness. I swore I would find a way. Madre, pues entonces ya sabemos ahora por qué está así. How did you meet? Times were tough. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family, singing for her death to come. When was that? It was so long ago. A few years after Elizabeth of England and Catherine of France established their alliance against Spain. What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. After she left to see the world, I rebuilt her deceased parents' inn, owned it as William Thorn for a time. Those were good years. Did you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me betray her. I am at peace here. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. Do you not want to be cured? No. This hunger is mine. You agreed to be confined? Yes. Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. Vale, gente, le estamos echando un par de cojones de... Vamos, si estuviera jugando yo el juego solo, es que hubiera pasado directamente, porque son... Es que es una historia que sí, que vale, que está muy bien. Pero es que, gente, madre de Dios, primero, afuera con el... Con nuestro... Pro, con el que nos creó. Luego con Lady Asbury. Ahora aquí con William. Es que estamos echando como casi 30 minutos en charlas. Bueno, ya, ya guardaré mi, Ya digo mi opinión luego. We could set you free. Let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it will be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long. As she releases me. Bien, pues ahora Elizabeth decide. Has the time come? Yes, father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. <gasps> Farewell, father. <laughs> And to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I come. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. 
That is a risk I cannot take. Jonathan, I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must, until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to start the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. We will lock ourselves down then. I'll get all the material I need and I'll perform my research here with you until you're cured. Are you mad? Who would take care of us? Who would free us if it takes decades or even more? Old Bridget will take care of us. You are serious, aren't you? You really are ready to do this? Sí. Por amor. I love you, Elizabeth. I can do this. Please, stay with me. I... I believe you. This is crazy, but... I believe you, Jonathan. Bien, conseguimos que, que se quedara. Y vivieron, per y vivieron felices. Y comieron perdices. Todo por amor, gente. Todo por amor. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Child born from darkness whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe for you have prevailed. I bid you farewell, my champion, bittersweet. You found yourself a newer quest, and so I leave you to it. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber, until alas she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. Vale. Pues gente, finalmente, finalmente tras días, 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 sobre todo para mí, días, hemos terminado este vampir. A ver, la verdad, sinceramente, os lo decía, estaba deseando acabarlo, porque es que daba muchas, muchas vueltas. Había, la campaña es muy, muy simple, eh, más o menos sabíamos eh, las mecánicas por dónde por donde iba a salir el tema... Eh, no el final, por supuesto, no el final, pero es que, a ver, tenía muchas ganas de acabarlo. Porque es que, a ver, las diálogos, los diálogos te hacían perder toda esa esencia, ¿no? Toda la intriga, el meterte dentro del juego. Y a mí eso me sacó desde hace muchos capítulos. Pero, gente, tenía que deciroslo, por compromiso tenía que acabar el juego. Si lo estuviera jugando para mí, ¿vale? Personalmente, si lo estuviera jugando para mí, no lo hubiese terminado. Porque me, 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 me acabó agobiando, ¿vale? Me acabó agobiando por el tema de las conversaciones. Es muy pesado, es muy cansino, es el único pero que le encuentro al juego. Muy simple, muy todo, pero es que el tema de las conversaciones, chico, pues se puede resumir, se puede resumir todo en la campaña con dos o tres conversaciones y ya está. Eh, ¿Qué pasa? Que son muchos personajes, son muchos personajes los que tienes que curar, ¿no? En Whitechapel, en Wisen. Y cada uno de ellos tienes que tener una conversación. Luego cada uno de esos personajes tiene su historia, ¿vale? Que son las misiones secundarias, que lógicamente hice muy pocas. Ya no volví a hacer más porque, vamos, que es solo para el tema de mejorar. Creo que es para evolucionar y esas cosas. Eh, y nada más, chicos. Es que se me decía insoportable por el tema de las conversaciones. Y me fijaros ahora estos últimos minutos. Las conversaciones, jolín, es que podían ir al grano directamente, ¿no? Por ejemplo, la conversación fuera con nuestro progénide, ¿no? Con el que nos creó. Pues oye, que nos diga lo que pasó. Eh, directamente al grano sin tener que decirle nosotros las preguntas. Y si no, pues dos preguntas. Pero es que eran cuatro. Luego te metías en otras cuatro preguntas. De esas otras cuatro te metías en otras dos. Es que, gente, totalmente así te saca, te saca del juego. Te saca de la inmersión. Te saca de la... De eso, de la, de la intriga, ¿no? De, la, de, de saber lo que va a pasar. Y eso a mí me lo sacó, me, me sacó de eso. Pero bueno, gente, en líneas generales, ¿vale? En líneas generales, bien. Lo veo un juego entretenido sin más, sin más. Tampoco es que me, eh, me haya gustado mucho y ya os dije el porqué. El tema de las conversaciones se le hace muy cansino, muy pesado. Pero bueno, luego ya el tema de los finales, que se me olvidaba. Que había distintos finales según tus decisiones. No sé, a mí me ha parecido un buen final. No fue un final muy malo. 
Creo que fue un final bien normalito. Yo esperaba un final peor. Después de lo de Wesen, que el, el distrito quedó en grave. no cuando, cuando evolucionamos no debía hacerlo. Pero bueno, no sé. Ya miraré por YouTube cuántos finales hay, ¿vale? Para hacerme una idea y analizar por mí mismo. No lo voy a comentar por aquí, pero analizaré por mí mismo si lo he hecho bien. Oye, eso por lo menos me... Me reconforta, ¿no? Me reconfortaría si lo he hecho bien. Yo creo que sí. Nada más, gente, lo dicho. Dejamos aquí este Vampir. Un placer haberlo traído al canal. Aunque, por desgracia, no gusta a todo el mundo. Decepcionadamente para mí en algunos sentidos, como ya os dije. Y nada más. Espero que um, os haya gustado la mayoría, ¿vale? O, o casi todos los que estéis viendo el juego. Espero que os haya gustado. Y que, bueno, nos vemos en futuras aventuras aquí en el canal. Así que nada más, gente. Lo dicho. Espero que os haya gustado y ya sabéis que hacerlo de siempre y como siempre. Un fuerte pulgar hacia arriba si os moló o hacia abajo si no. Y si me queréis dar pues ese apoyo que como siempre os agradecería un montonazo, pues ahí tenéis la caja de suscripción. Nada más gente, como siempre, un fuerte beso y abrazo a todos y a todas. Muchas, muchas gracias por seguir esta serie, por aguantarme. Y nos vemos en futuras aventuras, aquí, en el canal. Cuidaros, chao.